All right, everyone. Today I'm going to be putting together the Home Depot 12-foot Moonlight Magic Giant Size Animated LED Hovering Witch with Life Size Eyes. All right. Um, I wanted this from the moment I saw it. I liked it better than the Werewolf. And when it first came out, everybody's like, ah, "Yeah, I don't like it. Oh, it's stupid. Got that big broom." Well, guess what was the big hit of the season and hard to find. Now, I was lucky enough to find one in our little store. Um, just because they had just pulled the stuff down, they had one, and I bought it. Even though I bought one on um, July 15th with everybody else, um, but everything was so back-ordered, and you didn't know if you were going to get it or not. Well, guess what I did. <laughs> So I have two. Um, I'm going to take one back. Um, but a lot of props have been coming broken. Uh, my werewolf had a messed up IR sensor. They're supposed to be sending me a new torso. Um, I hope they do. <laughs> um, but I have rectified that problem myself. Um, with a little creative swapping if you know what I mean wink wink so my werewolf is fully functional now but anyway beside the point <laughs> I am going to try and put this thing together today everybody has spoken about how horrible it is how what a pain in the butt it is um and so I'm, I'm a little worried <laughs> but it's got to get together sometime and I want to make sure it is working and has all the working part has all the parts and have all the parts working before I return the other one all right, so only thing I've done so far is uh, just cut it open here. Um, it's like the rest of the HD props. They have the instructions on the inside. Now, from what I understand, these instructions and these instructions weren't the best. Um, I have some pictures on my phone where they sent out uh, updated pictures and explanations that are supposed to be a lot more helpful than these. So hopefully that'll help me in this build. Um, one thing I know from watching other people's uh, posts about this prop, it's the first prop I've ever had that had a two-part base. The base actually fits together. Um, interesting. Um, to me anyway, so I thought I'd mention it. Um, so here we go, guys. Wish me luck. I'm going to unbox it and get back to you in a second. All right, here we go, guys. Um, open this box that was inside the box, and this is what I got. Um, got the poles here, obviously, for the broom instructions. Here's her head. Uh, I like her head. I'll be honest with you. I saw um, one put up at a Home Depot, and like I said, I love this prop from the beginning. But to see it in person really solidified it. I mean, this t 10 times better than the werewolf. And, and I got the werewolf, but uh, yeah. Anyway, here, her hands. This was all in a separate box. So, starting to get a little intimidated, gotta admit. Um, here's her clothes. All right, here's her base. Um, like I said, it was in two pieces. You snap a pin there, you snap a pin there. After you get those snapped in, there's a middle middle one right here that slides together on its own and then the broom which wow I wasn't expecting it to be that heavy I pulled that thing out expecting like a you know <laughs> cinnamon smell <laughs> no but yeah that thing's heavy this whole thing the box says weighs 57 pounds well right there's 40 of it all right and then here's bless it the little uh <laughs> excuses for legs um, but, uh, saw where somebody took some foam, taped them up, colored them up, and made, uh, foam noodles, by the way, made some witch's feet, which were very light, because they were made of the pool noodles, and put on there, man, it looked good, uh, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that, I don't know if it'll bother me like everybody else, her not having, quote-unquote, feet or shoes, but we'll see, all right, guys, <laughs> here we go. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I've done one one thing to this prop, and I already can tell you it's going to be a you-know-what to put together. So, I put the base together, 
that was pretty easy. Push pin, push pin, like I said, the piece in the middle. Then it wants you to slide this bar down over this bar. This little wing nut is in there, so you take it out, you put it back in, you just tighten it down. Easy peasy. Next thing it wants you to do is you got these two little adjacent bars. It wants you to put it inside there, and once you get through it, put those what they're calling cotter pins, but they're they're kind of pathetic actually, but anyway, through it to hold it, you would think easy peasy. No. <laughs> um, <clears throat> had you bend this bar right here back some, actually a lot, and stand on it just to get those to sit in there to get the cotter pins. So, gosh, <laughs> this isn't starting out well. All right, on to the next one. Guys, this may change between now and when I'm done. But right now, I would say don't buy this prop. I have never in my life. I just spent 40 minutes fighting with these bristles. What you're supposed to do is slide these bristles over. And there's a fork in here. You slide your fork down into the receptacle. These bristles were so tight. Now, they were all done up with zip ties. So, I don't know if I was supposed to undo them or not. I did undo them. Because there was no way to stretch it out any further. And this is what I got. And I, I don't know, guys. I, I don't know. Now, they're all falling out. Maybe I wasn't supposed to do that. But I've got splinters from these bristles. And, uh... Huh. Not a good build. All right. All right, guys. I got the broom on there. Um, just FYI, don't cut the zip ties like I did. Not supposed to. Make them all fall out. As you can see, they're clustered with zip ties all the way on. Um, and then there's a, a Mac Daddy zip tie around the the whole lot of them and then you got this so don't do what I did so I swapped out brooms started over and maybe the other broom was just a difficult broom but this one actually sat in there great see the font prongs um, so maybe I had a bad broom but I've heard people complain so I don't think I did I think I got a great broom this time <laughs> um, you know I was thinking of keeping both these because I really like this prop. Oh, no, no. It ain't worth it. I'm going to get one together and love it. The other one's going back. This is way too much difficulty. All right, I'm going to pause it here and move on to the next step, hopefully. Okay, guys, the only thing I've done now is um, slide the broom pieces. Uh, G and H are your last two. You got this one. Um, they're interesting. Um, first of all, this plastic is as thin as plastic I've ever seen in my life. It is ridiculously thin. As you can see, I can just push it in here. Um, but these just slide on, just slide on. There's a little flat portion. Um, see, this one's already starting to come off. See a little flat portion and that flat portion goes with it. But as far as like twisting and locking, they do not. And and as you can see, that kind of looks like that. Now I know gravity, and I'm sorry about the fan behind me, but it's 90 some degrees in this building. Um, well, make it straight, but that's pretty, pretty flimsy and pretty sad. Um, so, all right. Well, that's what I've done. I'll and uh, you run your cord that you ran through the. The broom, you know, and got like 15 stitches from the bristles. You run it all the way through these brooms and it comes out there at the end. All right, moving on. All right, guys, I've got a correction I need to make. Um, plastic is still very thin, but I forgot to connect pole E to the pole coming out of the base. So that's what's going to make this more sturdy. So now I've got to re 
uh, position these back on there and put, pull the cord through. So that makes me feel better. At least it'll, you know, it's not like flopping down like it was. But just want to tell you, for, I forgot to put the E pole and it just snap pins into the pole coming out of the base. My bad. All right, guys, so here's where we are. After you connect the pole and you put the faux broomstick over it and you run the power cord up through them, you're going to attach I, and it's just a snap pin, and it has wires here, and it has wires coming out here. So, we'll see where that leads us. All right, here we go. All right, guys. You connect the hand, and you slide it down, and it has a slot, and it has a couple wires. Then you put the sleeve, just the sleeve, over the arm. The rest, as you can see, is not going over a pole or anything. Back up here so you can see. Then you're going to put in part in and it just snaps and then you connect these three wires and then the next step is this is going to go over that somehow <laughs> um, so we'll see how that works out but that's where we're at so far all right guys I just wanted to show you that that wasn't a big deal like I thought it was gonna be it just spun around and slid over that torso piece so it it looks like this so you're looking down at her back and her arms reaching here her other arms coming out here so that's how it is all right guys part o here which has your control box just tabs into in and that was our next step all right guys um you have a bunch of wires to connect right here you're gonna have a black and a red one um just set them aside and i also still have this one um you connect the head next and it is a snap pin the two cords that come from her head go to that black and red i've yet to discover what this goes to so we'll, we'll have to see also these are color coded the same black green red blue whereas this one is just red green black i heard a lot of people got these switched and you don't know which you know uh, i forgot what it makes move maybe her eyes maybe her mouth i can't, I can't remember but once they switched them back that made her work there's no way to tell which one went to which because they're exactly the same so i just did closer to closer and closer to this side and closer to this side hopefully i guessed right but if not that's where i'll troubleshoot first all right uh moving right along all right guys the next thing we did was attach the q hoop and it's just your forks onto your o piece and then you got another cotter pin and then you have two r's that come up this is gonna make, you know, her feet. Uh, one of these has some sort of string. It didn't tell me which one the string was, went to. So I just put it on the right side. We'll see what, where that goes later. Well guys, if I flipped the page, I could have told you what the string was for. Uh, you just hook, hook it around the other one after you add the S foam over for the legs. Um, uh, that just keeps her legs in a fixed position. All right, guys, our next step is to take the T, which is her left arm, put it in the fork housing, and it has a cotter pin as well. Now, I went ahead and fed the arm through her outfit here. It didn't tell me to do that, so I may have messed up, but I don't understand why it wouldn't let me go ahead and do that. All right. All right, guys. I had heard about a thing where they didn't tell you to do something with the outfit and you had to go back. Didn't know what they were talking about. I do now. It never says to bring this whole costume over this, including your whole back. 
So now I've had to disconnect this piece. Pull, I'm gonna have to pull the costume completely over that and then reconnect. Also, because of that fact, inside this part are also two elastic bands that attach to these as well. All right, well, I'm gonna do that correction real quick and get back to you. All right, guys, this is where I'm at so far. Um, her cape velcros around the front and it's got these hard wires through it that are making it, I guess you can shape it or maybe it, when you stand it up, it falls into a shape. But anyway, I went ahead and, uh, all right, so the two are connected together. Then you have little straps here on the side of both to keep the skirt down. Now, in there, see that one? You've got two more on either side. I don't have a clue what they're for. I haven't been able to find it in the instructions. So, we'll see. I am very unhappy with this build. All right, guys. Let me show you a little fun thing I just discovered that wasn't in the instructions. So, nearing this end of the build, I hope, they tell you to take this box and hang it inside the broom. There's a little metal piece that is going around in there, kind of like a hoop. Okay. So I started wondering, there's my plug. Where does this plug into? Because it told me to run it all the way through the broom. Hey, guess what? That's not the one I was supposed to run through the broom. That's the one it told me to run through the broom, but that's not the one I was supposed to run through the broom. Because I happened to notice. Oh, look what I got here. I wonder what they go to. Hmm. Could it be these that were supposed to run all the way through the broom? So, I'm going to have to just assemble this broom and I'm thinking it's not that big a deal but you know what everything everyone said about this prop is correct holy cow and that is not what I want to say now they do have some new instructions out that I had screens take excuse me taking screenshots of but unfortunately I can't video and look at it at the same time so I'm using the the old instructions and I'm telling you the old instructions said that power cord that goes here that connects into this well actually that connects into this so that end connects into this which you plug in the wall sorry making this even confusing for myself these cords are where it runs, runs up the burn all right i'm gonna do that now and then i'm gonna go have a very stiff drink all right guys here she is put together um wow i see right here i need to tuck some wires some more right there uh, believe it or not, even the cape was hard to get on her. She got two Velcro spots there, a little one around her neck. Uh, she's got a chin strap that I actually strapped underneath her whole neck piece because they said that it was sliding down and causing trouble with the um, function of her mouth, her mouth movement. Guys, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I love her, but it's not worth it. All right, so I didn't know what the slit was for, but now I know. You just reach up in here. Sorry about the reach up in here, and you know, it's here. Here's her volume and her modes. Um, and that's how you control her. And that Velcro shut. All right, guys. plug her in 
fingers crossed because if something's wrong I'm done for the day it's gonna be the wires are crossed somewhere and I am too over it to even look anymore so give me a second to plug it in all right guys yippee skippy um, I just had her on so that's what you get, you get your eyes and you get the lights that shine back on her she can't tell now because you know it's daylight um, all right so that's on uh, the next one is sensor so right there's her sensor oh thank you Lord and I don't mean that exclamation I mean thank you Lord Jesus because I couldn't have taken this thing not working Oh, because I, I couldn't have fixed. I, I've been so done. All right, her motion is high up. I always want to say, by the power of grace, though. Sorry, if you ever watch the Thundercats, if you're my age. But anyway, all right. Oh, I'm so relieved. Um, let's see, and then the next one is timer, and then the next one is, that's it. Um, and then you got a volume, and it looks like you've got a, nope, you don't, that's it. So, a try me, yes you do, there is a try me button, my bad. Alright, guys. I love her look. Look at that face. I mean, come on. And I don't know, she seems so much taller here than even in the store. I don't, I don't know why. And she's 10 cauldrons out of 10 on looks. But she's two cauldrons, one cauldron on just putting her together um I mean I still that thing fell out it's supposed to be hanging inside that room it's got a little thing I, I'm so done with this prop and worn out that I don't even want to um I deal with even just reaching back into that room by the way that room will kill you it hurts I've heard people say that they did not lie I have I am bleeding from it um so I don't know if my video helps. <laughs> um, it's hard. It's a hard build with the directions that you get. You know, knowing straight up that, you know, that those two cords go through there, not the power cord, like it says. Um, it's a weird build. We've never built anything like this. I mean, you've got the forked prongs like on some other builds and other than that I mean building off to the side the whole cage uh, for the you know the body it's just it's just different and I think that makes it hard um I don't know what to tell you I love it I'm glad I got it that being said I was tempted to keep the other one um, and have two of them that's how much I love this prop the look of it now that I've put it together, ain't no way in hell I'm keeping that other one. It's going back. I'm not going through this build again. Hell to the no, no, no. So, I'm going to give this prop five cauldrons out of five. I love it. I love its look. I think it's probably the best looking prop of the year. But because they have made it so ridiculously hard to understand the directions and put it together it's only going to get five so if you're up for a challenge buy it because it's, it's phenomenal once you got it up hey maybe you can buy, buy the display and you're, you're rocking it if you can buy a display it's 10 of 10 cauldrons if you got to put it together that knocks it back down to five of five so there you go guys i hope i helped in some way if you get it good luck godspeed <laughs> I think we got like 40 days to Halloween, guys. It's rapidly approaching. I'm working on my uh, circus fun room now. I'll give y'all a sneak peek when I get that done. And uh, 
as I build more props. All right. Get to work, and I'll catch you next video.